Have you ever tried bleaching your palm oil and after doing it, you notice that instead of the oil turning clear, it becomes pinkish, very pink in color. I'm bringing this, this sample close to the screen so that you can actually understand what I mean. The oil is no longer red, therefore does not contain all its carotenoids or carotene that is causing the redness you see in palm oil. I have actually bleached this oil chemically and be able to remove all the carotenoids from it. Therefore, I was expecting the oil to become clear just like a normal cooking or edible oil we use in the market for frying and cooking. But instead, I got a pink version of my palm oil. What does this signify? This just means that the oil is not very healthy for human consumption. I would say it is actually bad for human beings to, con to consume this kind of oil. It means that this oil is adulterated. Most times, this kind of oils have been adulterated with some dyes they call azo dyes. There are Sudan 1, 2, 3 and 4 dyes, but mostly you see the Sudan 3 and 4 in oil. Such uh, adulterated palm oil is actually unsafe for human consumption and actually possesses serious health risks and damages and diseases, including cancer, kidney failure, in fact, generally the whole organ failure. It can also lead to even behavioral changes. It can also cause oxidative stress. There are actually a whole lot of documented information with their whole references on the internet if you want to read more about how these azodites can actually affect your, your system. Remember, this is just one type of way this oil palm oil can be adulterated. And there are also other ways and chemicals people use. But let's go straight into the um, bleaching of this oil so that you see how I bleach this palm oil. I made use of the normal chemicals that are used in bleaching palm oil. Hydrogen peroxide 50 ml, sulfonic acid 50 ml and I'm making use of a total of 3 liters of palm oil. Normally, people normally show online that you can bleach with 1%. So for these 3 liters of oil, they will go ahead and add 30 ml of sulfonic acid and 30 ml of hydrogen peroxide. But I increased it because I wanted the bleaching to be quick, very quick and fast instead of waiting up to 24 hours for my oil to clear. So I did this to be quick as possible. All the same, it depends on the clarity you need from your oil. So all the ratio between the sulfonic acid and hydrogen peroxide can actually be altered depending on the color outcome you want to get. Now I was expecting and aspiring to get an oil that is very clean, transparent, in fact a very clean and sharp oil. The hydrogen peroxide is first added and then you now go in with the acid. It's just like the way they bleach the oils in the factory but they use bleaching earth powder. But most of the time this bleaching earth powder is also activated with acid. If not, it wouldn't bleach. But that is the natural way of bleaching palm oil where, where it, is, it can now be further separated into palmoline which is now bottled as your packet uh, store-bought cooking oil now I'm making bar soap i don't need to start looking for bleaching earth powder to be able to bleach it so i can do it chemically this sulfonic acid will even help the oil to even lather more and foam more we all know that palm oil does not really foam perfectly in soap but it gives a long lasting bar after mixing it you start turning it you will notice that the oil color will just start changing immediately it will get dark and then from this dark it will start clearing out so once you finish mixing it but you have to make sure you mix well once you finish mixing it you can also set it aside outside just for the next one hour and you now notice your actual color change hydrogen peroxide i'm using is undiluted it is not the one bought in the pharmacy that is already diluted with some distilled water this one is still plain and concentrated. Avoid it touching your hand because it is kind of very hot. If it touches your skin, it will give you white patches and it is very painful. Please don't use your wrong hands to measure a hydrogen peroxide. I know what I'm saying for out of experience. It is actually very painful. 
So after mixing it, you need to set it, set it aside for like 30 minutes or one hour before you come back to it. Remember, hydrogen peroxide is also a stain remover. It is also used in the clinic, hospitals and home. It is also you found in some recipes and products that you even buy there as your cleaning agent because it cleans and it washes. So these two chemicals we are using to bleach this palm oil, it is not harmful. Instead, it will actually add to the properties that this soap will exhibit after making this particular soap. Now after like one hour, I went out to check the color and I now noticed that instead of the oil turning clear, it became pinkish. Actually, this oil was brought by a client that came to my domain to actually learn how to make soap. So normally I train on different types of soap, cold process, semi-hot process, hot process, different oil mixtures before my physical classes is actually concluded so i started with this palm oil and i actually explained to her that if the oil you brought is good one it will be clear but if it is not a good one if it is an adulterated palm oil you will notice that it will turn pink lo and behold it turned pink in front of her eyes so i told her now you've seen how this one turns out so had it been this happened in your house i hope you wouldn't have been scared it's good is happening here in my own presence so that you actually know that you can bleach your palm oil and instead of it turning clear it can turn pink that doesn't mean that the oil is still red or yellow but pink and that doesn't mean you can't use it and produce your soap so you can see how it is um we went ahead and used this oil to produce the bar soap and it sure gave us a very sound and hard log of soap thank you